Hi, Zuli fans. You are here with Lindsay at our headquarters in Seattle, Washington. And I am so excited because today we are going to show you how to create a DIY floral necklace perfect for any upcoming event like a wedding shower, a baby shower, or prom. And I have Hannah with us from local premier florist, Tara Bella, here in Seattle to tell you all about it. So thanks for being here, Hannah. Thank you so much. I'm so You're excited welcome. to be here and share how to put something together that's a really great way to incorporate florals into a special occasion look that's a little different from like a corsage or a floral crown if you're looking for a more unusual option. Absolutely. I've never seen anything like this, so I am personally you. excited to learn how to make it. So yeah. let's dig in. Absolutely. So uh, starting here, I just have kind of the basic components of this, which are pretty simple. This is a piece of a leatherette fabric, so it has kind of a faux leather finish okay. on one side and more of a fabric finish on the other. I just freehanded this design on a piece of paper before I cut it out of my fabric. Perfect. So kind of a stencil. Exactly. So create yourself a stencil, lay it on your chest, make sure that it lays in a way that you like. Mm -hmm. um, and from there, this is just a simple piece of finished wire. And I have like a little hole punch and I just punched a hole in either end here. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. So that I could attach this wire. And that just threads through really easily. And yeah. we were chatting earlier, you could use a push pin or a nail, but just be really careful, obviously. You don't exactly. want to hurt yourself in the process. Yeah, <laughs> just, uh, you know, use your best judgment and make sure that you're taking care when using anything sharp. So perfect, so, so this you've is, got your base. Yeah, exactly, that's where you start. And then from there, I have this kind of partially finished uh, floral necklace here so that you can see some of the mechanics. Um, we use floral glue on this, okay. which is kind of a runny glue. It does get tacky as it dries a little so bit. So prep your area, prep everyone. Prep your area. <laughs> it can get a little messy. A DIY mess is kind of to be expected with projects. So, you know, just set yourself up for success. That means in that you're sense. becoming an expert if exactly. you're making a mess. Right? Yeah, your fingers are going to be a little grubby. You're going to feel like you made something today. It's great. So um, here you can kind of see some florals that I've picked up for this particular project. Um, there is a little bit of a technique to making sure that you're picking blooms that are a little sturdier, that aren't going yeah. to wilt against your and body. And it looks like you're starting with the greenery, kind yes. of like you would with a floral arrangement. Exactly, okay. yeah. Start with your base, kind of set up some basic shapes and areas where you want to glue into. I like to make kind of a little uh, like leaf bed for florals to sit in. And then you can also use all kinds of fun texture. At Terabella, we're really about using local and organic flowers as yeah. much as humanly possible. Um, so we're really inspired by nature. We like to keep things a little more textural and wild. So depending on where you live in the country, you can definitely be inspired by your environment. So yeah, we have exactly. a lot of ferns in the Northwest, some yeah. mosses, exactly. which are beautiful. Exactly. And like I teased earlier, this is such a great accessory if you are a bride coming yeah. up and you have a bridal shower. It's I know so I'm having a baby. I wish I'd worn yeah. one to my baby shower. Well, it would be so fun. Um, Maybe yeah. the next one. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> we'll be here for you for the yeah. next one for sure. You'll be able to do it yourself. Totally. In whatever colors you want. And you can pick out colors mm -hmm. kind of to accent whatever look you're wearing. If you're wearing yeah. like a cooler toned dress, then something like these purples would be beautiful. You can go more towards like a beautiful warm tone with oranges and reds. It's really customizable, which is super fun. I love that. Um, so the floral glue is, as I mentioned, a little runny. So we just kind of are putting on a little bit and, and then so letting it kind dry of a removed tiny bit. all the leaves from yeah. this. This, this flower yeah, that you're so about you to attach. Yeah, so you want something that's kind of a flat back um, so that you can glue it on and it's okay. not going to stick out too far from your um, floral necklace. And then I'm just going to delicately kind of place that in here. Symmetry is not really the end goal. Nature isn't super symmetrical, so I would recommend just kind of playing with your floral placement before you glue things down to get sort of a balance. Yeah, a test and try. Something that looks a little bit natural and kind of fun that way. And then from there, you can just kind of fill in your spaces with whatever you have on hand um, that's textural and mm -hmm. cute and just adds a little bit of depth and intrigue to things. And so what I'm I love in. about this is you said nature isn't perfect. Yeah. And this is about creating something unique for your special event. And yeah. it's going to be something that nobody else has ever worn. That's yeah. the coolest part. Exactly. It's a super fun project and it's pretty great for just something easy that you can put together and end up with something really gorgeous beautiful like and this. finished. I love it. Well, yeah. I would love to stand here and watch you do this all day, but we want to make sure you all have a chance to learn how to do this on your own and, of course, shop DIY on Zuwili. So thank you for being here, Yeah, Hannah. thank you so much for having and me. And thank you all for being here today. Bye, everyone. Bye.